does regular gerrymandering exclude or who does it benefit? It can do anything so from gender to uh, or political or views, party separation. separation. Okay, what about party? That's what I'm looking for. Explain the parties. Party separation, it can give it so that way you clump all the people together who aren't for you in one little demographic or, you know, all the people who are for you in one little demographic or it can split it up so that way you can get more seats. Okay, so basically you're going to draw districts for political or partisan gain or racial gerrymandering for racial uh, benefits or racial exclusion. Go ahead, uh, Mike. Racial gerrymandering happened in Alabama. I had a city where the district was 98% white. And what did the court say? They struck it down because they said that you were discriminating on account of race in Alabama. One, two, three, four. Anything else? Five. In North Carolina, there was a majority minority district. Yeah. What was what's the majority minority district? Somebody quick, five. Um, that the minority. I'm afraid to say three. That the minority would be. So it was a, the judge, judges said it was not allowed because yeah, they, they said you could like, get somebody a car, open the doors, and. But what is a what is a majority minority district? It's, all blacks in a small little pencil tip. <laughs> or, <laughs> all blacks in a pencil. <laughs> Go ahead, Andrew. What is the majority minority history? They tried to justify it. Uh, they tried to give minorities more power and more representation. So by creating majority minority district, what did you guarantee basically? What were you guaranteeing by creating that district? Well, supposedly equality. You're supposed to, or you're supposed to be guaranteeing more power for. The minority. Okay, so you're going to guarantee in this regard that a black candidate would be getting elected. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And Anything it was, else? It was struck down also. It was struck down as unconstitutional. So whether you gerrymander to exclude a race or whether you gerrymander to benefit a race, either way, it's discrimination based on race. It's not allowed. Anything else? The, the district itself. The district itself ended up looking like a snake, and actually, as you said, if you would have driven down the interstate, it was the I-85 district, with your doors open, the court said you would have killed virtually everyone in the district. Go to the next one. Pick me a category. We got to move. We got to move. Go ahead, Tim. Pick me a category. Um, Andrew's group. All right, we'll go uh, judiciary. Asia. Which one was it? Ripeness. First hand. Go ahead, Andrew. Ripeness has to do with, um, it has to do Five. Go ahead. Anybody in the group? Five. If the case is ready to be heard by the Supreme Court. Can you give me an example of a suit that would not be right? Um, if nobody's rights have been violated by the... Okay. What was, what was the example, the specific example? Go ahead. A pregnant lady... Damn. It has to do with abortion. She already had the kid by the time the case was heard. Uh -huh. Actually, that's not it. That's not it. Any points? question about whether or not that was right to be heard. Well, actually, it was moved. Question about whether or not it was moved. What was, how much was the point value, Tim? Uh, it was uh, uh, one. Four. It was four. It was four. Okay. Mm. Isha's group, minus four. Okay, Becca, go ahead. Five. Four. The example was the contraceptives. One, two, three, four. And what does rightness mean, basically? What was the trick with this contraceptive thing? That um, nobody had been affected by not receiving the contraceptives yet, so because he wasn't able to do it, they, they didn't um, try the case because it wasn't right. Exactly. One, two, three, four. Okay, one or two more, Tim, and then we probably better go. Go ahead, pick the category back. Oh. Um, Judiciary for four. I think more. Judiciary for four. Judiciary for four. We just did. Um, executive for four. Executive for four. Okay. Okay. This might be the last one for the day. Executive for four. Who's drawing? Okay. One minute starting now. Not all of them are supposed to be hard. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's a peanut. No, it's not. <laughs> I know it is. Your group has it. 40 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Oh. She said it. What is it? It is a radio. What was the significance of radio? And this is one of the questions from the executive for President Roosevelt. Your group has it. Five. I know what it is. Four. You've got it next. Three. And you've got it next. Two. One. What's the significance of radio for President Roosevelt? Oh, Go ahead. All right, 
Roosevelt uh, suffering from polio, and he used radio in his campaigns. If uh, they had the same technology they have today, he might not have as been effective. What did he use it for? What was it called? Oh. It was called a fireside chat. That's exactly what it was called. What group is this? Okay. One, two, three.